turn to ashes, but only just sometimes. And here you smoke. Hi everyone, my name is Zulu Atwe. I'm the creative director of Operative Fashion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I share a lot of sewing tips, sewing tutorials to help you in your fashion journey. If there is any illustration that you would like to see on this channel, you can drop them in the comment section. I'll do it to work on them. And if you find any of our videos helpful when you watch them, please kindly give them thumbs up. It will help other viewers, other people that are in this line to see the video and they will also find it helpful. And if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please kindly do so. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for the love. Everyone, so I'm using this uh, paper to draw a miniature that's a small yeah. draft, that's a smaller version of a draft of a bubu cow gown. That's a cow bubu gown with one shoulder. I've already cut the dress before, I've dropped a video before on my channel using the fabric, but I discovered that the video did not capture every detail as well. So I'm using uh, this smaller drafts to show you how you can effectively cut it all right so if you are yet to subscribe to the channel please kindly do so right now now let's assume that this is your fabric you're going to fold into two like this this part will be your length especially if you don't want there to be a joining on the shoulder area okay but if your fabric is not long enough like that so we just assume this is your length you have not folded, this is your length, alright? Then you're going to fold your fabric into two like this. So we are cutting now. If you are cutting it separately, then this is just the front. But if you're able to fold like this, that means you're cutting the front and back at the same time and there won't be any joining at the shoulder area. But if your length is not enough, the length of your fabric is not enough, then this is just a single fabric and then you fold into two, like this, okay? So I've done that, you fold it into two. Now the first measurement you're going to put, this is my tape, all right? This tape is in inches, but I'm going to use the back side so that I'll be able to mention the accurate measurement, but I'll be marking it in centimeters. All right, so now the first measurement you're going to put is your shoulder measurement. Shoulder measurement is eight inches, depending on the person's measurement. All right, now the length I'll be using after putting your shoulder measurement eight inches, you're going to put your sleeve measurement. I'm using 17. Your sleeve can be 23, can be 12, can be level. So I'll be using 17 plus one is seam allowance, that's I have 18. Now the next measurement you're going to put is your shoulder to waist, okay? The shoulder to waist is 16. Then the shoulder to hip is 26 and a half. The shoulder to knee is 40 and the shoulder to full length, I'll be using 58 ought to be 58 but i don't have all of them right here so we're using 58 like i said this is just a small illustration so you're going to keep that same measurement on this area so that you can have a straight line so i'm going to draw out the line like this now see that Um, actually cut and sew this dress you finish it in you can cut finish sewing cutting it in like 15 minutes finish sewing it in like one hour right so we've gotten the length and then the next thing i'm going to be putting is this whatever i have here all right i'm going to also mark it here at the downside but before 
that I need to know the length, the wideness of the sleeve. So the wideness of the sleeve will determine the line I'm going to have it. Now if you want the wideness of your sleeve to be like 11, you want it to be very big or 8 or 9, you're going to be putting that wideness here. So I'm going to be using 11. You can as well come down by like 12 inches. Okay, so I'll make it 12 inches. So you're going to draw a straight line on that 12 inches. Now remember that there won't be joining on the shoulder area. So I will have had to come down by one inch here. But because there is no joining, so if your opponent is on, um, they will have it, there will be a joining on the shoulder area. And it is advisable that you come down by one inch here and connect to your natural neckline, which is three inches. So the natural neckline is three inches here. So you have to connect down and draw a straight line like this if you're cutting it separately. But here we're not cutting it separately, alright? So the next measurement I'll be taking is the round e blousing allowance. So let's assume that the round e is 40 divided by 4 is 10. I'm going to keep that measurement on the knee, on the hip, the is optional, and then on the full length. But it's most important on the knee and the full length. Then you're going to have your ease. You can have ease, your seam allowance, up to like 5 inches. Okay? I keep that 5 inches on, 5 inches on the hem. Alright, so it's assumed that I'm using one and a half for seam allowance and three and a half as ease to make it free, to make it big. Okay, so I get that measurement on the knee and on the full length, as you can see. So, now the measurement I have here on the shoulder area, which is 10, I'm going to be bringing it here. That is 10, but I'll go in by, sorry, sorry, I basically kept it on inches. So the measurement I have here is 26 inches. I'm going to keep it here, 26 inches, but you go in by one inch, all right? So that's the line, it has um, that form of sleeve effect, okay? You can see that. Now, all you have to do, like for normal buku, what you'll have done is to keep the um, hip measurement that you have also on your waist and this chair um, on your hip and then on your um, waist and then you curve like this for normal buku. But we're not going to be doing that. What I'm going to do is that this same measurement I have on the knee area, I'm going to, because I don't want the my uh, cow to stop exactly on the knee and looking somehow based on experience. I'm going to measure what I have, which is 15 inches, and mark it somewhere in the knee part here. Just go up a bit from the knee. I'm just going up a bit from the knee so that it doesn't stop on the knee. So what all I have to do right now is to draw a curve, like just make it big. And let it stop on this point. And here you have your cow. It's so simple. It's so easy. Alright? And that is it. So when you are cutting, make sure that you notch this point. That's how you have your cow effect. Now, that is for the body. You can cut it out right now. Especially if you 
you are going to put a band. This is where your sleeve stops right here. You can see? This is where your sleeve stops. And then you have your cap effect. Now, you want to put the neckline. To put the neckline, like I said, this is for the front and the back. Okay? So, in order to put the neckline, this is our natural neckline, it's three inches. So I'm just going to mark that point, okay? I'm going to mark that point. Now from the middle point, this is my midpoint, I'll also go out by that three inches from this middle point. Are you seeing it? I'm going out by that three inches. So I know that this is where my neck ought to stop. Now, if you want to, this is our natural neckline. I've got a natural neckline for both sides. Now, I will advise that you make your wideness based on experience. You make, you take from this point, you take from the middle point, you make your neck wideness for this point to be six inches or six and a half. Okay, so I'll be marking six and a half, sorry. You mark six and a half. And then you can make this point to be three and a half. All right, then at the midpoint here, you come down by the depth of your neck. The depth of the neck can be like four inches. So you are going to draw a curve from this point. Just draw the curve of your neckline. Like this. Just curve that neckline. So it's called that here is wider than here. Yes. Look at our midpoints here. This is our midpoints here. This is our midpoints. The wideness of this point is more than here. So by the time, assuming your shoulder is like eight and eight, already we are taking like six and a half. The reason why I advise I don't take more than six and a half is it's not enough. You can always um, open it more. But six and a half is best because I had a situation where I took like eight inches and then I have to like sew a form of that on the shoulder area because it was dropping too low. So I advise that you use six and a half. All right. So when you do that. Just cut the neck like this. Remember, you are still going to be taping it. So, this is what you have cut out from the neck. And then you can, then this is your front, this is your back. You saw your, you saw your side seam, you hold your ends your neckline and then you have your cow on down. So I'll post the picture of the app call of the one that I did. I did a video. I know that the video, like I said earlier, the video is not really capture everything. And then this is just the cutting. You can see that your front and your back. So for those that will have to join their shoulder to achieve this neckline, I advise after you have, you don't cut your neckline, after you have joined the front and the back together, then you come and do the same thing that we have done here and cut your neck fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. You can like and share with your friends. And if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please kindly subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.